yes once again i welcome you all for another uh, presentation so in this presentation i am going to explain you about what is the transfer function of the given example this is again another type of rc circuit in previous presentation we have seen in place of c we have resistance as well as in place of here r we have capacitance in previous presentation where in this we have c this is r this particular combination if you connect the capacitance in this connection with r then this is called a high pass filter basically this is called a high pass filter it is called a simple high pass filter high pass filter okay so and then also called as it also it works as a differentiator it is also works as differentiator it differenti differentiator so it differentiates the input signal so your output is equal to differentiation of your input that is why it is called okay differentiator circuit right so for this given particular differentiator circuit what is the transfer function what is the transfer function here the transfer function is equal to your v not of s by v i f v i of s it is the ratio of output to the input basically means it is the s domain means laplace transformation domain i have written okay then similarly we know that so let us assume that voltage v sub c is the voltage across capacitance okay and then assume that v r is the voltage across resistance clear however v not of t is there now from this loop again assume that the current i is flowing in this loop then from this by using your kvl that is kitsch of voltage law you can apply the kvl in the loop equation from this what you can write from applying your v i of t clear v i of t so i have mentioned here small i i am writing capital i nothing wrong don't confuse with this you can write small i or sometimes capital i it is not the mistake actually v i of t is equal to it is again the sum of two voltages okay input voltage is equal to the sum of voltages across each element within that loop basically means vc plus vr clear and this implies further you can write this vc is equal to same actually 1 by c integral of i into dt this is the voltage across capacitor plus it is r into i itself r into i itself this is what your v i of t this is what this is the loop equation and for this if you apply the laplace transformation then it will becomes how it will becomes your v i of s this is equal to 1 by 1 integration is there 1 integration means 1 by s will come 1 by s into c i of s i i becomes as i of s clear plus r into i of s your i wherever i is there i of s and from these two you write i of s as common i of s as common <coughs> so your v i of s is equal to you take i of s as common here then what you will have you know 1 by s into c plus r this is what you have basically this is what you have basically this is from your first expression similarly you can call it as equation number 2 otherwise you can call equation number 2 now the output v not of t okay now the output v not of t can be given as v not of t is nothing but directly it is vr itself it is vr only voltage across resistor and that is nothing but r into i okay now you apply okay now this is from the second at the output stage this is the expression at the output stage so for this output stage you apply the laplace transformation then it becomes v not of s this is equal to r into i of s clear and from this what is i of s basically i of s is equal to v not of s by r clear this is what i of s value we can call equation number 4 so now substitute this particular i of s value in equation number 2 substitute this equation number 4 here 
substitute this i of s value in this expression number 2 then what you will have what you will get so very simple you will get one simple example of what is what, what you will get so that is equal to from this from the second expression v i of s is equal to what is i of s basically v naught of of s by r v naught of s by r into 1 by s c plus r do some small simplification so it is v naught of s obviously take this r inside then you will get 1 by r into clear <coughs> we can take 1 by r what you will get what you will get so 1 by r s c plus r by r is it not you can take this r into inside then you multiply okay 1 by r s c so then these two will be cancelled out r by r get cancelled out because r is there in numerator this is 1 by r therefore 1 by r with 1 by r you have to multiply this so if you multiply 1 by r with these two 1 by r nothing but 1 by r is c plus r is the numerator 1 by r will be there like that don't confuse here it is very simple cal cal calculation 1 by uh, you for our okay r s c plus 1 then further if you calculate it is v naught of s and further if you calculate take cross multiplication here then what it will comes 1 plus 1 plus s i will write for our convenient 1 plus src by src clear so this is your v i of s then take the ratio v naught of s by v i of s here If you take the ratio there from this, from this V naught of S by V i of S, then this becomes V naught of S by V i of S is equal to means that V naught of S you, you keep V naught of S here itself, then V i of S bring here, then 1 plus SRC by SRC take to this left side, then this particular, uh, uh, from, okay, this particular. Uh, ratio whatever is that it will be gets reversed there okay then it becomes s into rc by 1 plus src oh, clear this is what your transfer function and finally this can be written as s into tau by 1 plus s into tau this can be written as like this also v naught of s by v i of s is equal to this one you can write like this also this is what your final expression where tau is equal to again r into c only as we have seen in previous presentation it is a time constant s tau s into rc by 1 plus s tau this stands for function of this simple rc differentiator circuit this is the expression of transfer function for differentiator circuit these are the very simple uh, i mean electrical circuits which can be uh, taken as base circuits and uh, based on this uh, you can do you can find out the transfer function for any given actually okay so with this now we'll uh, finish off this particular presentation and uh, we will continue uh, with uh, uh, some more examples in our subsequent presentations okay thank you thank one and all